Good day. I want to continue our discussion of HTML by talking about some practical ways to use HTML on a typical Windows computer. One of the goals of this training is to get you to see how with really very low cost or no cost tools, you can get students to develop things and uh, learn this content uh, in a pretty straightforward way. So what we're gonna do in this short session is just build a simple HTML document with the kinds of tools that you would find on any Windows computer. And in this context, we're talking about Notepad, uh, specifically the Notepad icon that you see uh, right here. It's the little light blue icon that looks like a Notepad. Uh, if you go search for it, uh, you'll find it in your list of apps. And you can go ahead and click it. And what you'll see is that it comes up right here. And this is a very, very simple text editor. So when we talk about creating an HTML document, all an HTML document really is, is a simple text document with an HTML extension. So the easiest way to learn this is to make one um, by hand. So what you're seeing is you're seeing the get it, get started, getting started page for uh, the Mozilla developer network. This is the uh, MDN web docs reference that I gave in our last session. And you can see they have a section on that page called the anatomy of an HTML document. And they lay all of those details out here. Um, I wanna show you how easy it is to reproduce this so that you can do this with your students and get them to uh, demonstrate their own creativity with HTML elements. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm gonna do is sort of recreate this document and explain it line by line. You'll notice that um, all of these items are explained uh, below this little code block here. So uh, if you decide that you want to explore more, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna talk over it just to um, make some things clear and uh, to help you. So uh, at the top of most uh, HTML pages, you're going to see something called uh, the doc type declaration. And this looks really fancy, but in reality, all this is is telling us what version of HTML we're using. And when you see doc type with just the plain HTML, that means that we're using HTML version five, which is the version that we're talking about in this class. And uh, really probably the most common version that you would find uh, nowadays. So, you know, we're just telling our browser, hey, uh, this is the version of HTML that we're using. Uh, then we start in with our very common pair tags. Um, the HTML root element is going to encapsulate all of the other tags that we use. So remember we said um, in the last class that uh, HTML elements can be nested and essentially all of the other HTML elements that we're gonna put on this page are going to be nested inside that HTML element. So then we're gonna do the same thing with head and we're going to do the same thing with body. And all we're doing is marking up the different sections of our HTML document. So the head is where we keep things like our metadata. Um, and metadata in this context is just tags that don't necessarily affect the way our web page looks but um, send messages about that web page to the browser. So a good example of this would be the meta tag here. Um, we can tell our browser or any browser that's looking at this, what encoding we're using. Um, so if you've heard of um, ASCII or Unicode, these are just formats for making sure the computer knows how to convert our letters and numbers into a series of zeros and ones inside of the computer. 
Um, what this meta tag is saying is that um, we're using the Unicode format. That's UTF-8 is a Unicode format as opposed to ASCII. Um, it's helpful for lots of web pages to send that information along. Uh, then something a little less obscure, we have the title element. And this is the little title that appears in the tab uh, on the top of a new document. So I'm just going to put uh, my web page and um, we'll continue from there. So you can see that inside the head, we have two tags, um, the meta tag, where we tell the browser um, basically what type of encoding or what type of characters it can expect on our web page. And then uh, we have the title, which is what's going to appear in the tab inside the browser. Uh, so once we have that done, now we can go to the body. And uh, the things that appear inside the body, the elements inside the body, are the things that will actually appear on our page. So uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit from the example just to give you a sense of what we can do. Uh, and I'll just say this is my web page. And once I get all that in there, that is essentially a fully functional web page. I'm going to uh, save this as. And uh, I've got a special place to put it on my computer. I usually put it in dev. And then I have all these applications. You can see I spend a lot of time doing this. And um, normally it wants to save it as a TXT file or a text file. But I want to save it as something called index.html. And I want it to be saved with that extension so that my operating system, Windows in this case, understands that this is a web page. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, and notice that it's a here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go take a look at that page inside my computer. And we're actually going to run it. So I'm going to go to the same location. Okay, and you'll notice um, the file that I just created, index.html, is right there. And if I double click on it, it's going to recognize, okay, notice that is the exact file that I just created. And uh, you can see that my title, my web page, is displayed in the tab for that page. And that is the content of my H1 tag. So um, just to wrap this up, it's really important to, to mention, you have the ability to create a very simple web page with software that already comes on Windows. In our next video, we're going to talk more about how to make this more elaborate and talk about a few other tags and a few other features of tags so that uh, you can explore your own creativity with web pages and help your students to do so as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day.